Hey, morning. Morning. Hey, I got a day off today, so I'm going to sit and do some upgrades to the uh, to the Titan. So, uh, but you can see I'm, I'm here in the Yak Shack, um, and uh, I've got the Titan laid out. And you can see I, I just stuck the back out, so I had a little room to work, and... Um, we are going to do some maintenance and upgrades. I'll show y'all what we're going to start out with. First, something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. So this is going to be today's video. Uh, anybody who's got a native Titan will tell you that the, uh, the rear hatch is pretty much unusable. Um, and it has a habit of leaking. Uh, so bought the Hobie hatch. We're going to go ahead and do a video. I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to replace it. Uh, hopefully you'll get something out of it. And then uh, next video, stay tuned. Got a couple fun things. Uh, you know, this is going to be more of uh, maintenance. But uh, got a couple new additions to add to the kayak. So, uh, hey, hang out. I'm going to have some fun today. Maybe you'll, maybe you'll learn something. Eh. Maybe not, but either way, it is what it is. All right, so let me get the uh, camera set up and we'll start taking this old hatch off, putting the new one on. Stay tuned. All right, so I got the camera all set up. You can see the uh, area we're going to be working with. So let me go ahead and before we get started, I'm going to clean up this area a little bit. Uh, kind of get some of this dirt and grime out. And hear me. Let's get this. Maybe. My spray bottle will work. Let's get this area cleaned up a little bit. Ah, I'm not going to be too picky. I may take it to the car wash later on and uh, spray it spray it out real good or break out my power washer. I'm kind of lazy though. I'd rather go spend the buck fifty at the car wash than spend the time breaking out my power washer to do a five minute job. I'm not gonna worry about Just get, her. get her cleaned out here. And I'm gonna call that good enough for government work. Good to go. So, <coughs> excuse me, sniffing all my coronaviruses and stuff. All right. So, from watching the other videos on this and getting some advice, I've heard that Native uses some pretty uh, robust uh, sealant on this. All right, heard the nut hit. Yeah, I'm, am I gonna get lucky? I'm, I'm trying it this way without taking the nuts off um, because this hatch is almost impossible to open. I mean, literally. It takes an act of Congress to get this hatch open. It's one of the main reasons why I'm replacing it. So if I can get this last screw out. Yes, without any issues, then I'm a happy man. All right, all the old screws, we'll throw those away. Yeah, you can tell. I, you know, I like doing the work. I don't like cleaning up after it, so you'll probably notice that as a trend as time goes on. All right, so we got all the screws out. Now, like I said, from what I've seen before, Native uses some really, really, really robust uh, adhesive on here. So, what, what we're going to try to do is just take 
my claw hammer and maybe get it started. Hey, all right. All right, so that, that one as bad as I thought it was gonna be. All right, so the old hatch is off. Trash that thing. Hey, look what I found. These always come in handy. Other than that, looks pretty clean in there. Good to go. Wow, no wonder mine leaked. Oh, now I see. I did not notice. Check this out. Native used the track mounts to hold the hatch down. That is going to be good because now I've got a bunch of spares. But they did glue them in place. So. So if we got them all off. We did. I'm just going to throw them back here for right now. And we're good to go on that. All right. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm opening... I know y'all can hear it, but you can't see it. I'm opening the Hobie hatch. Grabbing the hardware, because we're going to do a test fit. Here's the new screws that come with it. And then here is the actual hatch, a twist and seal, and it should have a ring. There is the ring that goes with it, along with the seal. All right. So, first things first, we are going to make sure that the hatch fits. And guess what? It does not. So we're going to have to do a little trimming. That's okay. Um, I'm, I'm good with that. The hatch. Pretty much centered where I need it. Hold it in place. And then let's go around. Sharpie. Hopefully we're getting a good line. It's always hard to tell. And I'm going to call that close enough. Now that's pretty cool because it looks like it's just to the edge of the screw holes. All right, so that, that's a pretty good reference. Uh, that is a pretty good reference went and got my uh jigsaw hopefully i got enough power and battery left because i can't find my extra battery because i suck at putting things back where they should be so we'll see so i'm just going to take my jigsaw and hopefully zip right through this. Well, that was pretty easy. Ah, 
extra and let's do a quick uh, clean up real quick and we'll do a test fit have to get some go up and get some sandpaper now I'm gonna give the boat a real good cleaning after all this. So. All right, so I think I got my hatch about the right size. Let's go ahead and test fit it. Oh, ho, ho, grandma. That fits perfect. All right, so now comes the fun part. What I have to do now so I'm going to use my Sharpie and I'm going to mark where all my holes are. Then I'm going to pre-drill all the holes because the Hobie comes with a, a ring where the screws go down into, which, you know, pulls it up. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-drill all of those. That way I can just drop them in place screw them down and get started so that sounds like the smart thing to do hmm. probably why i shouldn't do it i don't do things a smart way i tend to do things the dumbest freaking way possible Three, six, I got eight, eight spots marked. So I'm gonna find me a drill bit. Put it on speed number two. thing I worry about is this ring with this pad or with the uh, deck supports but I think that there's enough room to slide it in between I may have to break a little bit of the sealant I may, miss it. may have to enlarge that one a little bit side of these now and figure out the best way to do this I think uh, I gotta make a decision. Don't want it to open this way. Probably. Oh, uh oh. All right, I think we're good. So, from everything I've heard, this is kind of the tough part: is just getting this ring started. So. over let's go ahead and get kind of the first one lined up so I'm gonna go ahead and get the screw started now once I get all this done I'm gonna take it back apart silicone it I just don't want to be dealing with messy silicone while I'm 
still trying to figure out the process you know what I'm saying so we got to do that Ugh. then we have to get this ring in here and uh, I'm gonna assume that's why it's split so that you can feed it in and through this way Alright. Ah, oh, you bastard. See what I mean? I don't pay attention. I've got it upside down. Boss is down. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work real good that way. Alright. So, let's get the ring in place. Crud behind it. place Just so we've got a good start and let's try all right well it found the boss quick I like that that makes me happy I've seen some people really struggle with getting the first couple of screws started I'm not the most patient guy in the world. So let me grab another screw. Now this one's going to be the fun one because it's right up against my landing gear. Let's try to get everything lined up. Ah, now I see what they're talking about. All right. Hey, but that wasn't bad. Uh, okay. I don't know what the fuss is about. Wasn't too bad. I just moved the, the ring because it's split. I just put the screw down through it and then moved that boss on the ring to line up with the screw felt underneath and lined it up. All right. Let's see if this one's gonna be. Alright, kind of the same thing. My phone pad's kind of in the way. So. There we go. That's the trick. Get the screw down through it. It'll push the ring down huh? until it gets lined up. And now, now again, I'm not putting these in all the way because I'm going to take them back out and silicone it once I have everything good to go. everything tight but I've got it kind of snug so let's try it. open close oh. oh that's gonna be magical especially with what I've got planned all right so I'm just gonna take this apart and uh, silicone it kind of go through the same process so um, I don't think you uh, really want to hang around and watch that. So, uh, hey, if this was helpful for you, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos like this coming up along with uh, the standard fishing videos. Doing quite a few upgrades on the Titan. I will give you all a quick um, preview into what my next modification is. The Yak Gadget. 
um, manual pole, uh, stakeout pole. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to get this on, get this finished, and then we're going to go fishing. So uh, hey, till next time.